Good morning and welcome to a cloudy and misty Norfolk. I'm here at Horsey Wind Pump, one of the uh, famous icons of the county, uh, to welcome you to my channel and what is really my first proper vlog. I'm not very good at these so I hope to get better over time. This first vlog is really to talk about something that I've been passionate about for a while. Uh, it is now November 2022 and in January 2022 I volunteered to ride for Norfolk Blood Bikes. There's an awful lot of romance attached with the thoughts of riding through the night uh, to save lives and uh, many people are drawn to it from that kind of attraction. But there is a little bit more to it. There's actually the day-to-day -day grind, the day-to-day -day doing of the tasks. So I decided that over the month of November, I would do a few stories to indicate some of the different tasks that we get asked to do. In the first episode, we'll be doing a RV run to Thetford to pick up platelets from Addenbrooke's to take to the James Paget. In later episodes, I'm going to cover uh, presentations that we do, different RV locations and also riding and driving in the car uh, which is something we do during the day to cover the weekends and bank holidays. I hope you enjoy these. Uh, as I said they are my first attempts at putting a vlog together so please bear with me for all the errs and ums and unscripted pauses because I'm trying to think of what to say next. So with no more to do I'll pass you over to oh me at I think it's one or two o'clock in the morning as I'm getting ready to go out on a nighttime blood bug run. be completely honest I wasn't totally awake when he called me in fact I was dead to the world um, as I was saying we operate a system whereby we have one volunteer with a vehicle covering the areas for each of the main hospitals in Norfolk. Queen Elizabeth Hospital at Kings Lynn, Norfolk and Norwich Hospital at, surprisingly, Norwich, and over here in the east, the James Paget Hospital. But we also have a fourth vehicle uh, stationed in the south of the county uh, and known as the RV and the uh, RV driver in this instance is Scott has set off to go to Addenbrooke's to pick up a box and being half asleep 
being brutally honest, I can't remember what it is he's got to pick up. But he's en route now to um, to Brooks and uh, then he will ride back to, um, in the case of tonight, to the Sainsbury's at Thetford. Uh, just by the side of the A11. I'm now en route to Thetford and my ETA is two o'clock. He should be there around about 20 past two um, where we will transfer the product from his vehicle and I think tonight he has Mark Mason. Um, which is one of the blood cars and I will then bring it uh, the rest of the way back up to James Padgett um, and the reason we do this is uh, if I was to set off to go to Addenbrooke's it would um, take me over two hours to get there and of course uh, two hours to get back so it would take four hours to get the blood uh, or the products so in this instance I will ride to Thetford which is about an hour and ride back in an hour and um, the product is got here therefore in about two as opposed to taking four um, so it just speeds up the process uh, quite a bit by doing it that way but it is 10 degrees according to um, the little thermometer on the dashboard here and uh, I am eternally grateful for the invention of electric clothing um, that's my uh, heater jacket it's uh, keeping me nice and toasty now
when you join uh, blood bikes um, there is a uh, an induction training you have to do to run through the packaging etc of uh, and the carrying of the products but um, also uh, you do spend a day out going around all of these locations so you know where people are expecting you to be and we have several different RV locations so what I'm now going to do is I'm just going to get all the packaging and everything all the uh, straps all ready to receive so when Scott arrives with the package uh, we can just transfer them across nice and quickly if it wasn't for windy I would have parked under a street light so you could actually see a bit better. Um, but it is windy. And uh, I'm more important than you are at the moment. Okay. And here I am, and uh, it is silly o'clock in the morning. Two o'clock, and uh, Scott is not due to arrive until 2.20, so uh, we'll just wait till he arrives. Yeah, one of the other important things to do is um, we always have to call into the controller. Hey, mate. So, as is often the case, <coughs> Scott has been delayed, um, and it is ten past two. I was expecting him at twenty past uh, because of uh, diversion on the A11. He's now not going to be here till uh, twenty to three. Ah, but I have the joys of Sainsbury's car park. So. Uh, um, this is just the nature of Norfolk roads. Place, doesn't it, really? So what have I actually got? Platelets. Ah, platelets, okay. Okay. All right. Safe, nice to meet you. Right. See you later. You oh. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I always forget to plug in my heated jacket.
one box of uh, platelets on board for the James Paget, and it is now 2:37 in the morning. Me. So here we are, driving to the hospital, and uh, the place where we drop the blood off is at the uh, pathology lab, uh, which is right at the back. Hospital helipad. And now we just uh, remove the box and deliver the package. Nice signs of COVID. Yeah, we uh, we did get the door open eventually, and uh, platelets were then safely delivered. One of the things that you then have to just sort of think about is making sure the straps are then all tidy, which all takes time.
so I've called in the control to Graham, who is the controller tonight, and let him know that uh, the platelets have been delivered. I did have to call him uh, earlier because of the locked door, and he then uh, made contact, and a, a very nice lady came to the door, and uh, we rattled and banged it and kicked it and shoved it and eventually it um, it gave way and uh, and let me in okay now it's time to uh, go home but there's just one more job to do before I can get back to my bed. And that's refuel the bike in readiness for the next job. Which of course could be in uh, half an hour. course one of the things to bear in mind is that while I'm running around here um, in the east of the county thank you very much two of my colleagues um, could well be out doing exactly the same thing at the Queen Elizabeth or at the Norfolk and Norwich. But um, also, of course, that's just Norfolk blood bikes. There is Suffolk and Cambridge blood bikes and Bedford and Highlands and there's blood bikes all over the place. So um, right now, right this minute at uh, 3.54 a.m. on what is now the 2nd of November, there could be any number of us around the place doing what I'm doing right now. That's the uh, batteries died on the uh, cameras on the bike while I was trying to refuel. But uh, anyway, you, uh, you've seen someone filling a bike up before. Um, it is now uh, 14 minutes past four in the morning and job is all done. Uh, I am, I've informed the controller, given him my mileage for the night and uh, hopefully uh, that will be it. Uh, but the shift runs till seven. Uh, I'm on again this evening and several times throughout November so I'm going to try and film different sides of things to give you an insight into what it's all about. Uh, but right now I'm going to go to bed so I'll wish you a good night. <laughs>